Welcome to another Ask Arlington, everyone. I'm Jay Warren. Ask Arlington is a show that is dedicated to answering the questions that you have about what's happening right here in our city. And on this episode, we're going to be focusing on your water bill and ways to lower the cost, particularly as we start the spring and summer watering season. We know that many of you have concerns about your water bills going up, and we thought this would be a great opportunity to provide you with some tips on how to conserve water and maybe eliminate some of those costly bills or at least lower them. And here to answer your questions is Daryl Westbrook with the city's water utility department. Daryl, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Jay. And I thought we might start off with one of the questions we get a lot throughout the year is, is the water rate going to go up and when is it going to go up? Can you get, kind of walk us through that process? Yeah, Jay, uh, we actually start the budget process now and the rates are part of the city budget process. Mm -hmm. our, our two biggest drivers of the rates are our regional wastewater treatment facility, which is Trinity River Authority. We don't treat our own wastewater here, but we convey it to them and they treat it. So we, we wait for their budget numbers to come in before we set our rates and also our raw water purchases. We do treat our own water, but we do have to purchase our own raw, the raw water from Tarrant Regional Water District. So those are the two biggest drivers. When we have those numbers in, we can set the rates and that's typically, there'll be council discussions in, in August about the rates and then they will go before council for approval in September. So any rate increase would happen later in the year meaning the summer watering season is all going to be on last year's rates. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And, and also, the last three years, mm -hmm. we've actually been able to use a rate stability fund. Uh, and any time we get, we do a settle up with our two providers, mm -hmm. the Tarrant Regional Water District and TRA, and any of that money goes into a rate stabilization fund. And we've actually been able to use that fund the last three years to delay the rate increases until January. So okay. the rates are effective and approved mm -hmm. for October 1, but we've had enough money in there to be able to delay that increase until January. Sounds good. All right, well, let's get to some of our resident questions, and we got some good ones. Sure. Our first one comes to us, and it's one that's probably on a lot of people's minds, actually, as we go through this process. It comes from Marlo, and Marlo asks, could you tell me some simple things to do to conserve water? What are some of those easy things people can do that will help lower their bill then? Well, the actual easiest thing to do is participate in the classes that we offer. Right. In, in April, we have three classes um, that they cover landscape design, um, you know, uh, types of plants that you can put that's drought tolerant mm -hmm. and uses less water, and also uh, uh, irrigation uh, maintenance and design too. So if anybody's interested in those classes, they can email water at arlingtontx.gov and we'll be happy to provide the information to you. Uh, some other things too that we would recommend is putting your irrigation controller on manual and operating it manual. That gives you a better sense of how much water you're using and if, if you actually are there when, when the irrigation system is, is in use, you can actually make sure one, that the water is going where you want it to sure. and also that there's no broken heads and no leaks in the mm -hmm. system. Um, you can control it better th during that time, too, when we're getting a lot of rain. That way you're not watering when we've just got that's, a lot of rain. That's right. right. That's right. We, we recommend rain-free sensors, mm -hmm. but they're not always spot on, on, on when it kicks back on to, to water the lawn. Uh, one simple thing you can do is to use a screwdriver and stick it into the ground. Uh -huh. And if it goes in easily, it's probably got enough water on it. Okay. But if it's kind of hard to get in, you probably don't have enough water. And really lawns don't need in this area any more than about one inch every seven to 10 days during the okay. summer and about two, uh, one inch uh, every two weeks in the winter. Yeah. Well, that actually dovetails to our next question. It comes to us from Landon. Landon asked us, how can we know if our lawn is getting too much or too little water. I usually crank on the sprinklers two or three times a week when I get home from work. Um, it, you, know, I get, you would think, well, if the lawn's green, you're probably good, but you could be overwatering at that point, right? Absolutely, you could. And overwatering is just as bad as underwatering. Yeah. Uh, if you overwater, the, the roots on your, your grass is going to be much shorter, not, not near as deep or healthy, mm -hmm. and they're going to be less able to withstand hot, dry summers. You want to water more infrequently and deeper, and that promotes deep root growth, which is better able to handle uh, hot, dry summers. We actually, a uh, part of the Lawn Whisperers Facebook page, there's watering advice out there on that page. Okay. And it takes uh, data from several different weather stations in Tarrant County, so mm -hmm. it's, it's local data, and it puts up uh, an advice on how many times uh, you should water during that week. 
In 2015, there was 33 weeks where there was no watering needed. Wow. There was 11 weeks where you would only water once per week, and only eight weeks, the recommendation was twice per week. Okay, and this is, uh, what's the site again? It's it, it, is the, um, it is the Lawn Whispers Facebook page, or you can also go to SaveTarrantWater.com. It's okay. also posted there. Very cool, that's some good advice. All right, our next question comes to us from Nikki. She wants to know what she can do to avoid getting a high water bill. You've given us some tips already. Mm -hmm. Any other things, perhaps leaks or leak detection that you mm -hmm. would recommend? Yeah, and actually we've started a program ourselves where we're actually proactively looking for leaks in our system. Mm -hmm. So that's us doing our part to conserve water, um, which is really a daily process for us and should be for everyone. Uh, the uh, best thing to do is most meters have a little leak indicator mm -hmm. and you can uh, open up the lid and look at that little leak in indi indicator and if it's jogging back and forth and you've got all the water turned off in the house, that might be an indication of a leak. Oh, so all you and have to do is look at your box. All you got to do is look at the really? meter inside the box. And, and also, um, you can compare your usage to previous months and previous years. All that information is online uh, uh, on our website. Yeah, so just go to the city's website. Go, go to the, the city's Expo. website under the water, and we have an online uh, account that you can register for and get in and see your uh, history of usage. Right. All right. Well, our last question comes to us also from Nikki, this time Nikki Wynn. She wants to know, now that Lake Arlington is full, do we need to worry about water conservation? Clearly, you got to worry about water conservation for your bill, but we're not under the, the mandatory water restrictions we were under previous years, correct? Yeah, so the lake's full and most of the lakes in the area are full, so we have plenty of water, but conservation is really a, a daily uh, approach. Mm -hmm. we, we work to conserve electricity, we, sh we should work to yeah. uh, pr uh, conserve water in the same way. Yeah. By conserving water, also, that helps to uh, avoid higher bills. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you think about it, while we're not under water restrictions right now, because we've got plenty, we've gotten mm -hmm. plenty of rain and, and the lake's at a good level, doesn't mean in a couple of years we won't be right back where we were. We're, that, we are in Texas and we're in a, a zone where if we don't get enough rain, we're going to be in trouble, right? That's correct. And, and by conserving water today, it, it helps uh, ensure that we have an adequate supply later. And it keeps those good habits in place That's that right. we've already uh, established. Yes. For sure. All right. Daryl, thanks so much. We do appreciate all those answers some really good tips to help us as we start the spring and summer watering seasons that are here upon us very, very shortly, for yeah. sure. Thank right. you. And we appreciate it. And that is all the time we have for now. Thank you at home for sending those questions. They were great. That will do it for this week's Ask Arlington. Tune in next time when we'll have more of your questions.